I'm going to explain the chameleon soil moisture sensor to you. You, you may have seen our prototype. Uh, four lights connected to four sensors in the ground. Uh, the lights can turn blue, green or red depending on how wet the soil is. Now the new version is a bit different. Uh, we've come a long way in the last 12 months. We have three sensors that go in the soil at three different depths. But the fourth sensor is a temperature sensor and an ID sensor, identification sensor. And we call the four sensors an array. Now this is buried in the ground. And when I come up with my reader and take a measurement, I see the colors on my reader as before. But now the data jumps from the reader to my phone. Because of the ID chip, uh, the reader knows exactly where these sensors are. It sends the data to the cloud, and our website at the Virtual Irrigation Academy captures all that data and plots the colors against each sensor array. So I just want to explain to you how these sensors work. They measure how hard it is for a plant to suck water out of the soil. So we can think of the soil like a sponge. When the soil is very wet, it's like a sponge full of water. And it's easy for the plant to suck water out of soil that's as wet as this. It's a bit like a squeeze, a small squeeze, and a lot of water comes out. But after the plant has sucked all that easy water out, the light will turn from blue to green. Now there's still water in the soil, but I've got to work a bit harder. The plant has to work harder to suck it out. I've got to work harder to squeeze the water out, but there's still a fair bit of water there. But once the plant has pulled uh, the green water out, the light will turn red. Now I've got to squeeze really hard to get the water out. Just like the plant would have to suck really hard to get the water out of the soil. And at that stage, this plant would be under stress, its yield would be, its yield potential would be lower, and we would need to irrigate. There's three ways to use your chameleon. You can walk around and plug it into a sensor array and see the colors like that. You can also have a permit installation. This uh, reader is connected to Wi-Fi and every two hours it sends its data up to the web. And if I, if I didn't have a Wi-Fi access point, I can uh, use my, the hotspot on my phone and the reader will send the data to my phone and my phone will send the data to the Virtual Irrigation Academy website where we can see it, see the patterns.